Hi, I'm Urs Kafader and I would like to show you how you can find a suitable encoder for your application. Incremental encoders are the most widely used sensors for speed and position feedback on miniature motors. There are several types and technologies of incremental encoders, but at the end they all give the same type of rectangular output signal. The characteristic parameter of the Maxon encoder is the number of counts per turn on each of the two channels A and B. This number can vary from about 16 up to several thousand. Typical values for many applications lie in the range between 100 and 1000 counts per turn. The actual resolution is four times higher because there are four states per signal period. These are called quad counts or often referred to as lines per turn. However, the wording is somewhat ambiguous and when talking about resolution you have to make sure whether it is meant before or after quadrature. Position control. The required position accuracy of the application dictates the resolution of the encoder. The angle load position accuracy directly gives the number of states or quad counts per turn needed. For instance, an angular accuracy of 1 degree requires an encode resolution of at least 360 states per turn, or 90 counts per turn. Observe, encoders are mounted on the motor. Any gearhead reduction increases the resolution at the load by the reduction ratio of the gearhead. Therefore, in combination with gearheads or other mechanics, Encoder resolution hardly ever needs to be higher than about 256 counts per turn or even 128 counts per turn. In addition, be aware that the mechanical play usually makes any high resolution useless. On the other hand, high resolution encoders of more than 1000 counts per turn are often used on direct drives. In the following, we focus on motors alone assuming that the required resolution has been calculated back to the motor shaft level. Some selection rules for positioning applications. The encoder resolution in counts per turn should be higher than 360 degrees divided by the required position accuracy delta phi in degrees. Due to the evaluation in quad counts we can divide this number by 4. For high dynamic application with fast controllers and low permitted position overshoot, select a higher encoder resolution. However, be aware that with too high an encoder resolution, the signal frequency increases and the signal to noise ratio may be worse. Further recommendation. Whenever possible, use an encoder with line driver for positioning. This differential signal transmission avoids pulse losses and gives you a better signal in particular over longer distances. For positioning, it's almost a must. Many encoders have a third channel, the index channel. It can be used for precise homing, it is finding a more accurate reference position than with the classic limit switches alone. Encoders for speed control. What is the optimum encoder resolution for speed feedback? This question is not that easy to answer. There are many influencing factors. What can happen to speed within one sampling period of the speed controller? Friction and load changes can lead to a deviation from the actual speed level. A high mass inertia, on the other hand, dampens this effect. The big question is how much deviation is allowed and how large are the friction and load changes to be expected, or more precisely, the relative amount of friction and friction variations with respect to the mass inertia. A high speed sampling rate of the controller and suitable control parameters have a positive effect as well, if the encoder resolution is high enough. These considerations show quite nicely that it is not the encoder resolution alone that defines the quality of the speed feedback. However, what are the main encoder selection rules for speed feedback? In the speed controller, velocity evaluation is usually done by counting the position change in number of states per cycle time. At high speed, there are many state changes per cycle time. A typical example could be 
a motor speed of 6,000 RPM and an encoder resolution of 500 counts per turn or 2,000 quad counts per turn. This results in 200 quad counts per millisecond, where 1 millisecond is a typical sampling time. The resolution of the speed is 1 quad count per millisecond, corresponding in this case to 0.5% of the motor speed. The situation looks different at low speed. In the same millisecond there might be just a few counts. The resulting speed resolution is still 1 quad count per millisecond, but this corresponds in this case to 16% or even more at lower speed. There are two conclusions. First, at high or very high speed, verify that the encoder supports the high mechanical speed and that the encoder and controller can handle the high encoder signal frequency. A lower resolution might be selected. The second conclusion is, the lower the controlled speed, the higher the required encoder resolution. Now have a look at the Maxon encoder datasheet. Where can you find the information we have been discussing? The resolution is given in counts per turn. The number of channel 3 indicates that there is an index channel. Without index, there are only two channels, A and B. The frequency limits and the corresponding maximum speed are given as well. At the bottom of the page, information about supply voltage and pin allocation can be found. That's it. A short introduction to encoder selection. In summary, it's not always the highest encoder resolution that gives the best result. Look exactly what your application and your feedback loop needs.